President Biden, your first day of office, you signed an executive order to protect the life and safety of transgenders. I have no problem with that. But you did it on your first day. But he sat up here with you, Charlemagne, and told black people that if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. So if you went out of your way begging black people to vote for you, why haven't we got an executive order or any other activity coming out of the Oval Office from President Biden to protect black people from police? I agree. Look what he's doing with the anti-Asian hate. President Joe Biden signed an executive order that is exclusive to Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. I don't have a problem with that. But if you can protect the Asian American and Pacific Islander from violence, why can't you do the same thing for black people? They've been dealing with violence for one year as a result of COVID. That's what it's called, the COVID-19 hate crimes bill. Mm -hmm. To protect Asians as a result of discriminatory treatment that they've been dealing with for how long? One year. Black people have been catching hell for four hundred years and we have yet to get an executive order from joe biden to protect us from the police so can i ask you a question if the senate was able to pass the anti-asian hate crimes bill charlemagne and envy 96 to 1 with almost no opposition why is it that the emmett till lynching bill still has not been approved why is it that they have been over 200 different anti-lynching bills introduced in the u.s congress 200 and not one of them has been approved by the U.S. Congress yet. But the first ever Asian bill goes through on the first try. Mm. Look at the racism. Look at the discrimination. Look at the bias. Look at the inequity there. And why are they catering to the Asians? You know why? Because the amount of white people in this country is shrinking. That's right. And whenever the amount of white people in America shrinks, America looks to find other white groups or other minority groups that they can build an alliance with to protect their power and their interests. Who better than the Asians? They're just as conservative politically as many middle-class white Americans. They are just as economically comfortable as many middle-class white Americans. They don't like black people just as much as many middle-class white Americans. Not to mention that this can go a long way towards building relationships with Asian countries on the continent of Asia that America can not afford to build an alliance with Russia. Let us be clear about something. The continent of Asia is a big problem for the U.S. government. You got three power nations on that continent. You got Russia that America can't stand. You got China that America can't control. And you got India, which is one of the fastest growing populations and it is quickly becoming the IT giant of the world. Kamala Harris is not the vice president by accident. Kamala Harris is the vice president on purpose because America needed to send the nation of India an olive branch to improve their relations because America can't afford for India to get tight with China or Russia. This is politics. And they're going to use the Asians, okay, as probationary whites. They're going to upgrade them to probationary white status to make sure that they stay on the side of the white man and not go on the side of the black man. This Asian agenda is a distraction from the issues that are affecting black people. How do you sign an executive order for the transgenders, executive orders for the Asians? He has signed nothing for black people. And mind you, Envy and Charlemagne, there have been at least five notable police terrorism cases on Joe Biden's watch. You had the 16-year-old sister who was shot four or five times with the knife. Mm -hmm. And I don't want nobody to tell me that the police were justified. We're going to get to that. We're okay, get to that. I got you. Yeah. But the five, her. Mm -hmm. And then you have uh, Officer uh, Nazario, the African Latino brother who was harassed by the police mm -hmm. in his car. Mm -hmm. The lieutenant. You had the yeah. brother, 17-year-old boy, murdered by the police in the bathroom Anthony Thompson. in Knoxville, Tennessee. Anthony Thompson, Jr. The other brother in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, who was yep. shot in the execution of a warrant. And I'm missing some. Oh, Dante Wright who was murdered, and she thought it was a taser. Tasers don't look like guns. Tasers don't feel like guns. They don't weigh the same as guns. And there's no way under heaven you accidentally thought a taser was a gun. But again, five cases, and the president still has not acted. The same president that told the Breakfast Club that if you black and don't vote for me, you ain't black. Well, why haven't you done anything for black people yet, Joe Biden?